Batteries produce electricity by performing a chemical reaction. The more chemicals you can react at a time, the more power you can produce. These reactions need a surface area where the reaction takes place. The larger this area, the more you can react at a given time. The most obvious way to have greater surface area is to get a bigger battery, but sometimes you want your battery to be small so it fits in your cell phone or your watch. The challenge to scientists is this. How can we pack a large surface area into a small space? Let's start with a simple example. I have a line segment of length 1. If I want to have length 2, I can add another line segment like this. The total length is 2. But this takes more space, and I don't want that. Can I do something clever to shrink it down but still keep the length 2? Let's cut the tip off and fold it like so. Now we have not removed any material, we've simply moved it. So the length is still 2. It's better, but I want it even smaller. What can we do now? Let's repeat the procedure again, moving the peaks and keeping the length unchanged at 2. And repeat. We can keep repeating this as many times as we want until the line becomes essentially straight to our eyes. Now this looks exactly as your original line segment of length 1, however it has a length of 2. Let's use the same idea for area. Suppose we cut a square window, shown in red, in a material, shown in gray. If the length is 1, the perimeter is 4, and the area is 1. Now let's break that window into four smaller windows of side length 1 half. The total area is still 1, but the perimeter is 8. We can repeat and break each of those windows into four smaller windows. See the pattern? Every time we cut the side length in half, we double the perimeter. This means that the perimeter times length is a constant. By repeating this process, we can make more and more perimeter, but the total area we cut out is the same, 1. By introducing pores in a material, it makes it like a sponge. It is similar to cutting billions of windows, just like our example. The result is an enormous surface area in a very small space. Here are some examples of porous material images taken using a scanning electron microscope. These pores are about 50 nanometers in size, which is 2,000 times smaller than the thickness of a sheet of paper. Using this principle, researchers made a microporous carbon with a surface of 3,600 meters squared per gram. This means that a chunk of this material weighing as much as a penny, 2.5 grams, has a surface area of 1.5 football fields. With this large surface area, the chemicals inside the battery can easily react to produce electricity. High-performance batteries of small size are therefore possible.